Hi, my name is Jeff, and this is how you make your own network cables. So let's get started. Um, you're going to need a couple of tools. You're going to need a pair of crimpers um, or wire cutters. I have wire cutters and crimpers on this tool. Um, this is just a crimper for different sizes. You're going to need some of your own RJ45 clips. Um, a box of these of 50s, you know, maybe two dollars at your local hardware store and you're going to need your own Cat5 cable. Um, this is about 30 cents a foot at any hardware store. Um, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to cut off about, uh, you know, about two inches just to give you some room to work with. And you're just going to cut around the edge here with this little tool. And it just comes off simply like that. Okay. Then you're going to split this apart. Like so, you're going to have four pairs. You're going to have basically an orange pair, a green pair, a blue pair, and a brown pair. Okay, so once you get these all untwisted, um, from left to right, your color uh, coordinations are going to be orange stripe, orange, green stripe, blue, blue stripe, green brown stripe and brown and those are going to be inserted into your clip um, with the clip this clip part right here you're going to have that facing down and these are all going to be inserted uh, like so into the clip okay you don't need that much hanging out okay we're all lined up we got orange stripe, orange, green stripe, blue, blue stripe, green, brown stripe, brown. All right. We insert these like that. And another important thing is to not have so much hanging out so that you don't have um, you know this blue casing. You want part of that to be inside the clip here. Uh, that gives you a little bit more protection. All right, push in a little bit. And what you want to do is take your crimp tool, slides right in there like that, and then you just hear a little click sound like that. It slides right out. Okay, so now we're all set. Okay, so the other side of your your uh, network cable is going to look like this. Um, this is the crossover cable, so um, the other side is going to be green stripe, green, orange stripe, blue, blue stripe, orange, brown stripe, brown. And we just are good. Just goes in just like that. You just want to push it in pretty good. All right, so we've got green stripe green, orange stripe blue, blue stripe orange, brown stripe brown, just like that. Okay. Let's crimp it just like the last one. Put it in there real good. And we got two ends just like that. So we're all set. And you just want to inspect it to make sure there's no um, nothing torn in there, anything like that. Okay, so let's go test the cable. And the um, best way to test is with a, you know, you can put two switches together. And we got two ends just like that. So we're all set. And you just want to inspect it to make sure there's no. Um, nothing torn in there, anything like that. Okay, so let's go test the cable, and the um, best way to test is with a, you know, you can put two switches together. Okay, so here we are at the, uh, the switch, so we'll just put one end in here, plug the other end in here, and see the way the lights come up. Should just take about uh, a few seconds or so for the lights to turn green, and we can verify that we have good connectivity. 
there we go. We've got port 30 connected to port 10. Switch A to switch B. We got green link light, and we're good to go.